Hello everybody, Steve here from FireboxStove.com. Hey, today I'm not going to be talking about stoves at all. In fact, what I'm going to be talking about is craftsmen. People who wake up every day and work with their hands um, to make the best gear that you can, that you can really use. Uh, the two people that I really want to talk about today are, is Sandy. Uh, he has a YouTube channel called The Wilshire Man and also a, another YouTube channel called uh, Jack Lore Knives. He's a knife maker. And I'll show you my knife. I just got my knife and I'm really excited about it as you can tell. Um, but I just think there's a lot of integrity uh, that comes along with, with people who design and then craft their own gear. Um, another one that I wanted to mention is Perry Peacock from Wilderness Innovation. Um, he has a website, uh, wildernessinnovation.com, and he also has a YouTube channel that's Wilderness Innovation. Um, but him and his wife, Shauna, they make everything that you can buy from him. Now, he makes mostly soft goods, uh, like uh, he makes a variety of different sized tarps. Uh, he makes a uh, poncho, which I'm going to show you. And uh, I'll get into his gear a little bit more as we go along. But uh, mostly I just wanted to pay tribute to these craftsmen that make their product to order one at a time, pay extremely close attention to details. Uh, quality control is, is absolutely impeccable. And both of these guys use their gear. They're both the real, the real deal. They're they're the real article. They uh, they go out and they camp, and uh, and they test their gear. Perry, you know, when he wants to go camping, he's he's waiting for a really stormy day. You know, most people would be canceling their camping trips, and that's when Perry is gathering his stuff up because he really wants to get out there because he wants the bad weather because he's excited to test his gear. So let me show you some of the gear. Well, I hope my camera is doing a good job of focusing on this so you can see the fine detail. Uh, he stabilizes the, the handles for the wood and if you have a special kind of wood that you would like him to use, you can send it to him and he will stabilize it and use it in your knife. Uh, he has a few different models uh, to choose from and they're made of O1 tool steel. Um, I chose the thinner of the two blade options for this, for the uh, Jack Lore Classic, I believe is what this is. Um, but just a very, very beautifully made knife. This knife is triple tempered to a Rockwell hardness of 59C. And not only does he temper it three times but he tests it to make sure that it meets specifications so each one has a little mark of where he has tested it to make sure that the Rockwell hardness you know has turned out as he had you know planned it to turn out. Now I wasn't sure if I would like the dangler because I've never used one before and it and it seemed like it might be a little too much for me but I'm really liking it. What it does is it allows for your knife to kind of swivel and rotate. So as you sit down and stuff, there's somewhere for your knife to go. And then you can also just unsnap it and remove your knife so that you can, if you need to have it, you know, out for, for a different kind of job or whatever, you can just detach it very quickly and easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it back on here. But uh, you can see that the, the leather sheath is just very, very well made as well. And very close attention to detail, the way he's blacked out this edge 
you know he's done a very very fine job and uh, I can't find flaw with his work uh, anywhere I mean it's just absolutely beautiful very nice knife feels really nice in my hand um, and it's just very very sharp just really wants to bite into that wood and wow it just feels great when you watch Sandy's videos you know you can see his hands uh, you know they're worn they're they're they look tired uh, you can see that uh, that he works very hard just a beautiful knife I'm very proud to proud to own it thank you Sandy so what I have here is the wilderness innovation rain poncho and I'll tell you you know just from the second you touch this you can feel the quality I mean you can feel the quality in the paracord you can feel the quality in the material and then when you open it up and you start to look at some of the little details that he puts into this so like even this cord lock you know it's a nice quality cord lock he doesn't he doesn't buy anything that isn't made in the USA he's, he's very picky about what he uses uh, you can see that his his carry bag you know has this little d-ring uh, unit attached to it and that makes it so it just it's just a little detail that that will help it wear longer you know the whole bag and and the pull system it'll help it wear longer it helps it function just a little bit better you know it's just one more uh, you know little detail that he adds that other people don't do stuff like this you know this is the kind of thing that other people are are removing because they're trying to save a little bit of cost so let me go ahead and open this up this is the this is the sil nylon rain poncho and he uses a lot of different kinds of fabric that you can choose from different weights of fabric uh, different colors different patterns and uh, I have to apologize I can't see my screen so it's hard for me to tell if I'm in frame but uh, I chose the black sill nylon um, you can get a lot of different camo patterns a lot of mill spec fabrics um, anyway so you can also have him do custom stuff for you because he is making these to order one at a time um, you can have him add more tabs or you know put snaps different places or whatever else so this rain poncho isn't intended to just be a rain poncho he's added a lot of features to this to make it work for a lot of different purposes or uses so he's got some some very um, tough tie out tabs so you can use it as a tarp a lot of different ways um, he also has on each end of the poncho he has this big loop section and that's so that you can actually run the paracord through it some of you maybe were wondering why a rain poncho comes with paracord but this rain poncho converts into a hammock and when I first heard about that you know I thought well maybe it kind of works as a hammock but you know it it's it's not likely that it works well as a hammock but come to find out it's a really nice hammock um, you know you can see how this is triple stitched here and uh, he's just reinforced it in a lot of different places so that not only will this be a a very long-lasting top quality rain poncho uh, but it will work and does work very well as a hammock you know I was really surprised at how comfortably I slept in this hammock system and so as you're hiking down the trail if it rains you can throw this on it's and I got the XL so that it would go up over my pack um, give me good coverage and then as as your situation as your camping situations change you know you have a piece of gear that can adapt to that change 
So you can use it as a hammock, you can use it as a ground cloth, you can, you can tie it out over you as a tarp, um, you can, and you can use it as a, as a poncho. Um, and then he also sells different accessories for it. Uh, you can get it with a hoodie pocket. He sells a, a really nice fleece liner, which I do have. Um, and then you can put the fleece liner on underneath this, or actually it snaps into it. And then this thing will really keep you warm through some very, very cold temperatures. Uh, so it really is a full system. It's, it's not just a poncho. It's not just a hammock. It, you know, it, it can be used for a lot of different things. So let me things. find the hood portion of this here um, so you can see that. But uh, he's added a lot of details to this poncho in general. So when you're sleeping in this, this hood section is actually underneath you. And I like to, you know, I like to put my headlamp in it. Uh, you can put different stuff in it. It becomes kind of a pouch that you can kind of store stuff in. Um, but let me show you the underside so you can see kind of how this is reinforced. And like I say, Perry and his wife Shauna, they make these one at a time. So you can see this is a place where two seams have come together. And rather than just leave it, I mean this is the inside, right? This isn't the outside that everybody sees. But he still has finished it off with a ribbon and it's all been seam sealed. This is all silicone seam sealed so it's not going to leak. And then the whole hood is double layer for this whole exterior square so you can see how this comes out here. So it's double layer and not only is it is it is it sewn but it's actually um, glued. It's bonded. So it's uh, it's it's it, the whole hood portion is very very strong and when you think about using it as a hammock and you wonder what it would be like you know to have this hole so this is the head hole right here I'm going out of frame I'm afraid but uh, having this head hole underneath you and how that would affect its use as a hammock but you, do, you don't really even notice it that much um, and it's definitely not at all a problem um, so I was really, really happy with, with how the hammock aspect of this product works. So let me show you the rain poncho on. Now it's very sunny out here, so I'll get hot real fast. But it has a very generous hood, and the, but the hood can be snapped back. So there's a snap in the back so you can snap it so that it doesn't hang over your face. So it's very adjustable that way. But it's a very nice big size. You can see I'm going to hold this out and you can see I'm going to stretch my arms out as far as they'll go and you can see that there's really good coverage. So when this is stretched out as a tarp, it's a five foot by eight foot. As far as being an extra long, now you can't see the bottom of this, but it comes down to, you know, about uh, my lower shin area, almost into my ankle area. So it's nowhere near dragging at all, but yet there's plenty of space to, to allow my pack to uh, be underneath it and still give me good rain coverage and rain. Protection. When I'm backpacking, I always carry a pair of nail clippers with me because you never know when you're going to have you know, trouble with your toenails or, or a hangnail or something and that can be you know, quite painful. So I carry, a, I carry a nail clipper around which works really well for this. So I just let it loop down and then that gives me a weighted unit that I can use to drop through this tube that he has sewn in here. So I just drop this, whoops, 
I just dropped the whole thing is what I dropped. So I just dropped this pair of nail clippers down there and allow it, allow gravity to pull that pair of cord through that loop. And then once it's all the way through that Before loop, you know it, it'll be out the other side. And so it's really quick and easy to convert into a hammock and it works, like I say, very well. Very, very comfortable as a hammock. So do yourself a favor and check out Jack Lore Knives and Wilderness Innovation. They both have YouTube channels and they both have websites. Absolutely top quality products made by people with the highest amount of integrity. Thank you everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye bye.